Hello everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Uh, today's video is December's Puzzle Haul. Uh, it's just going to be a quick little video of what I acquired during the month of December. So if you like what you're seeing or you can't remember what exactly something was, I will do a flip through at the end showing each puzzle closer up. And there'll also be names of the puzzles in the video description for you. If I can find a link, I'll put those in there too. So if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you. And let's get on with the puzzle haul. Okay. These first few puzzles I got from a friend that I exchanged puzzles with. And these are from the dollar store. They're not you new. I just got them from a friend. But I'm not usually big on the dollar store puzzle bug type puzzles, but I had another friend tell me that they're a smaller size and they're not super great quality, but they're not terrible either. So I figured I would give them a go instead of just trading these away right away. So this one is by Crazy Art. And I am unsure what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but if I can find it, I'll put it in the description. But this is what it looks like. I got quite a few of them from her. Now this one is by Crazy Art 2. It's another puzzle bug, 350 pieces. Oh, this one's called Chateau de Milan, Milan Days, France. I don't know if you can even read it, but the name will be in the description. Let's see if this one has it on it too. This one, yeah, this one says Florida State Fair, Tampa, Florida food concession is what this one is. And then this is the next one. And then this one is called Afternoon Tea. It's a 500 piece by Puzzle Bug. This one doesn't say Crazy Art on it. It's got a LPF. I don't know what that is. But these are dollar store puzzles. This one is Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming, 500 piece crazy art. And then the last one of that kind is this one called Half Moon. This is kind of up my alley with the Volkswagen bus and that. It's really cute. So this will probably be the first one I do. But they're all like lower piece count, 500 piece, 350 and that. And they're not very big in size. So these are great for traveling and that. This one's 18.2 inches by 11 inches or 46 centimeters by 28 centimeters. Okay, now the next one I got at a re resale shop. This, I am never heard of this brand. This was something new for me. Americana Collections Grandma's Baked Delights is what it's called. And it looks like Paper, Paper City Puzzles is the name of the company. I never heard of them. But I thought it was cute. And I think I paid a dollar for it. It's only 250 pieces. And this one I got at resale. It's 300 pieces by Buffalo Games. This one's called Santa Madalena Village. I just wanted a couple smaller piece puzzles. I've been busy lately, so I like to do the smaller ones. And then I got this one by Suns Out. It's a 500 piece puzzle called Grandpa's Barn. And 
And then this one I got from a friend. Now this is by Seco. And it is a Jane Wooster Scott puzzle called Silhouette. Now what's interesting about this is it's got those um, irregular shapes, but it's got shapes like like this cat image in that. And this is a cork board puzzle. Now I got another one from another friend and I have yet to do it. But I mean, look at these. This looks like a bowling pin put together. Just all different kinds of really funky shapes. But the cork is really interesting to me because I had never seen one until a friend of mine sent it to me. And I've been really wanting to put them together. I just haven't had time to do it yet. But I got this one from another friend. So now that's two that I got that are cork. And they're both by the same artist, this Jane Wooster Scott. So I don't know if all of her puzzles come like that or what the deal is. But this is what it looks like. And then I got... This one from Goodwill, I believe. And it's a Ravensburger, one of my favorite brands, with just puppies. So how can you go wrong with just a whole image of different puppies? I thought that was cute, thousand pieces. And then this tin we found at a local, um, thrift store, the Deseret Industries, right by our house. And I had, this is a dowdle puzzle. And I had never seen one come in a tin like this. Now this is a lower count. I forget how many pieces it has. Maybe it says in here. Hmm, I don't remember. I think it's the same as this. I don't remember how many pieces it has, if it says, or where I might have looked it up and seen. But I want to say they only have like 250, 300 pieces, something like that. I'll put that in the description too. I thought it said on the, on the puzzle, but it does not. But from what I was told, these in the tins, came out at like Christmas time at Costco. Now, I don't know if this is a strictly Utah thing or if you get these all over because we found this one at Desert Industries. And so we were looking for more because my husband really liked the tins. And we found these. I got this package on Facebook Marketplace. Now, this is how they came. I, we just got lucky and found that one. This is a three pack. Oh, they are 250 pieces. That's where I seen it. And it was $17.99 for the three pack. I found this on Facebook Marketplace and they had never opened them. They're still sealed, three in there. But they come, this Lehigh Roller Mills and this Brigham City is here in Utah. And then they got the Noah's Ark in the middle. So I'm wondering if that's more so for around here or if they're everywhere. If you happen to know, please put it in the or in the comments below because I'm just really curious. I'm gonna have to do some more research on them. But these are three 13 by 17 limited edition folk art see the sticker there so I was pleased to find these on Facebook marketplace and I don't know my husband was looking them up and there's like you know, I want to say like six more that I don't have that are in these tins but that's it for this month's puzzle haul so if you watch on after this I will do a, a like a flip a flip through of the close-up images of each puzzle so you can get a better view of it and of as always in the description box there'll be either links or at least the title and the name 
of the maker so that you can find them if you're interested in finding any of these puzzles. So, so that's it for this month's puzzle haul. And I'll see you guys next month or sooner if I get my reviews done. Y'all have a Merry Christmas and I will talk to you after the holidays. Bye everybody.